Driving out of Pyongyang, I'm very aware this is a journey few foreigners ever make. The high rises give way to lush green farmland. Every single field, as far as the eye can see, has been cultivated, growing maize, wheat and rice. Unexpected in a country where a quarter of its children have severe malnutrition, according to the United Nations. Some crops were damaged by heavy rains, which my military minders seemed upset to see. Driving three hours north to Hyangsang County, I see men and women working in the fields, but not a single piece of farming machinery. Vehicles were rare. A car is a luxury the average North Korean cannot afford. We're stopped at a number of military checkpoints set up because of the heavy rain. So basically we're, we're stopped here on, on one of the main roads out of Pyongyang. This is a pretty major road in North Korea. Uh, it was flooded yesterday because uh, there's been so much heavy rain. And on the other side, half of the road has completely crumbled away. It's dropped maybe 20 foot. We drive over this buckled bridge very slowly. It collapses the very next day. Heavy rain hits the town of Hyangsang, an area the regime is promoting for tourism. But an overnight storm proves too much for the hotel's electricity supply. The next day, while filming the swollen river, I notice a small boy fishing with a crudely made net. He takes whatever he has caught to a man sitting by the side of the water. Nearby, a family washes their clothes in the river, suggesting running water is a luxury in this region. Even the hotel water was not constant. Another man has brought soap to the river to wash his hair and clothes. Then a security official appears from nowhere and tells me to stop filming. Back on the official tourist route, we visit the impeccably groomed gardens of Poyon Temple. It's a Buddhist temple in North Korea, which is not something you would expect, considering the official line in North Korea is that they are non-religious. Really, the religion is the, the Kim dynasty. And you can see here, it's been beautifully preserved, these temples. We spoke to the monk just a moment ago. Uh, he said there's about 25 monks here, and they service about 2,000 people in the local community. Chombyok tells me people come mainly on Buddhist holidays to take part in ceremonies and pray. But the only people we saw was a group of school children. They too were on the official tour. North Korea claims it is tolerant of different religions as shown by this temple, but many experts would disagree. I see two different countries, the sanctioned tourist view and the poorer view I see through the bus window, some of which I'm forbidden to film. Paula Hancocks, CNN, Hyangsang, North Korea.